Speaking of Johnny Giovatella, let's go down to Joel, who is with the Giovatella family. And a lot of people here, Ryan. His dad is right in front of us. His mom is next to me. Friends, family, Little League teammates. Here, I should point out, too, I don't want to leave out his grandmother is right in front of us. And everybody in the Giovatella clan here can get a little round of applause for his grandmother. Uh, Cindy, you didn't know that this was coming today. You had plans to go to a family function in the Quad Cities and had to make a little change, didn't you? Yes, I did. I went to surprise my little brother for his birthday, and um, so I got the call right when I uh, landed into the Quad Cities, and I had to go straight to my little brother, who was doing all the cooking, and tell him I had bad news and good news. The bad news, I wouldn't be able to attend his party today, and, and the good news is Johnny got called up. I'm going to Kansas City, so that's what happened, and here we are with no sleep, and it's been a great, great ride, though. Um, excited to be here for Johnny. Very happy for him. Well, Johnny has talked about the family work ethic and, and everybody that knows him, and we're just getting our first glimpse, but Eric Hosmer, Mike Moustakis, all these kids that he's come up with have said that he is always the hardest working player on the field and at the ballpark. How much pride does that give you and the Giovatello family? Uh, it's, it's indescribable. He's always been that focused in everything he does, whether it's football, and even in the classroom academically, he's, he's always given 100%. We're very proud of him, and I'm sure he gets it from his dad, and we've all, we're all hard workers in the family, so it pays off, and you reap what you sow, I guess, right? Absolutely. Uh, so the Tigers with the home run there, that's the bad news. The good news is that we, we have been through this now so many times this year. I was telling you that Johnny is the 10th Royal this year to make his major league debut and to see the family celebrate it every time has been so special. Alex Gordon's mom is on the other side of me. She went through this a number of years ago. You never you never forget it. And and I've got to think that for you to be able to see him on this field, we, we saw him hugging the family before the game. Uh, it has to be the greatest thrill for a family. Oh yeah, absolutely. We're just so proud of Johnny and so happy that he's finally gotten this far. I mean, it's a dream come true. Well, it's a, it's a pleasure to have you all in town. I'm not sure if uh, if anybody's back running the uh, the pizza shop back in New Orleans, Geo's Pizza, or if they're watching right now or, or, or if they're closed for the night. Well, I can tell you, I just heard through the great button that there's a big sign on the door that said, gone to Kansas City. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, the pizza place is closed down, and the phones have been ringing off the hook, and it's, it's very, very, very wonderful. Congratulations to you all. It's great to have you here in Kansas City and hope to see you here for years. Thank you. We hope so, too. All right, that is Cindy Giovatella. Johnny Sr. is in front of me. Johnny's grandmother, already wearing a Royals T-shirt, is here. I'm told the pizza lady is here, too. She want, That's why the pizza shop is closed, because Johnny's aunt is here. So if Johnny's aunt is here, there's nobody to serve pizza at Geo's. Kansas City Royals baseball more important tonight, guys.